All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Master Mark. It's my pleasure to welcome you back to Darkwood. In our last episode, we went ahead and we investigated the pig shed. We found some pretty scary stuff, including a gigantic pig. And you know what? Today, we're going to have to go back there. And I think we're going to try and mess around with electronics. Maybe kill the, kid, kill the pig. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that it might be crazy. I'm going to see... Because they fixed the, uh, we fixed the electronics, so I want to see if the staff there have anything to say about it, you know? If they're like, oh man, someone came in the night, they killed two people, but I fixed the controls, you know? If somebody's like that, I'd be interested. But we also, what was it? We also got an invitation here to a celebration behind the cornfield in the southern edge of the dry meadow. You guys remember that? We went there, we couldn't get in? Well, now we now we have the code for it. Okay, what else was I gonna do? I forgot what else. Let's just go ahead and get back up to where we were. To uh, the pig shed. First we'll look at those two guards and then we'll see if their dialogue says anything. And then we'll just go ahead and just kill it. Hit the kill switch, get the job done. Where's that dog? I swear, that dog, it harasses me every time I try to walk through here. Every time. I'm just minding my own business, and before you know it... Is, the, is it out of juice? Is the power out? I forgot to turn off the power before I left. Is it out? out? It is out. God... Gosh dang it! Excuse me. Alright. We'll check the... You know I, I don't think there's going to be an audio cue. Alright, there's the thing there. You guys got any gasoline here? No? Alright, fine. I'll go ahead, I'll go back to my house, I'll grab a little bit of gasoline out of the bench. Oh hey, there's that dog again. We'll grab a little bit of gasoline out of the bench. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, we'll do the deed. Do what needs be done. Gosh. I hope I have more gasoline, I'm not sure if I do. I mean, in this gigantic stack of stuff. Yep, there's a little bit of gasoline. Just a little bit. Oh, don't leave the pistol behind. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Mm-mm. Very bad. All right, now let's get back there. Let's get back where we were. And I'll continue saying funny dialogue and interesting stories as we go along. You know, that's what the whole job is about. Well, job? I'm not getting paid for this. I, I haven't gotten a thousand views. Well, never mind. I got a thousand views on that one video. But I don't think it counts as advertiser friendly enough to make any money off of it. Nothing in the chair. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Is there any gasoline in here? Doesn't look like it. Hey, mirror! Anything new to say? Didn't think so. Alright, now let's throw a little bit of, little bit of juice in this here. This here, baby. Don't put too much in it. Alright, switch on. Now let's get the deed done. Let's get to work, people. Okay, here's how I left it. Read the note. Let's read the note again. Alright. Do not remove the lock. Let's go ahead and remove the lock, why don't we? Alright, lock's off. Let's go ahead and put the lever down. Machine is set to maximum power. Okay, I guess we're gonna commit to this, cause why not? Let's let's smash that button. Let's smash that button like we're smashing like you guys are smashing that like button. Bam! Okay, I can see by the achievement in the bottom right that it seems that we've done our job. Let's go ahead and take a look, why don't we? Maybe we can get something, like some odd meat or something, to cook up and get some essence. I wouldn't be surprised. Then we'll talk to Wolfman and see how he feels about this. Hmm. I wonder how big that wedding is down in the dry meadow. We're gonna keep this little bit of gasoline on us just in case we need to bunk in the dry meadow after this. Because we might, we might not be able to make it back. Also... The musician said he wants some, some pork. He's never tasted it before. So maybe we'll take down one of those uh, pigs. 
Or we'll grab the meat out of the pot and then we'll give it to him. Maybe that's something we could do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the sow now. Let's go ahead and look at it. How now, monster sow? Excuse me, young gentleman. Okay, let's go ahead and... Do I have my lantern on me? I do. Alright, let's get a good look. Yep, that's dead. Hey, mushrooms! Okay, I guess... I, 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 I guess that it wasn't for nothing, huh? The, the pig is... The pig is dead now. Oh, hey, a corpse. Madman scribbling. It's time for my piggies to go to bed. Great big mother piggy has said... So I will count them first to see if all my piggies came back to me. One little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies. Okay, there's a 73 on there though. Wonder what that means. Hey, a single shot pistol. I mean, I don't really knew, need it because now I have, a, I have a big good pistol. But you know what? The I, I appreciate it. You never know. You never know when you might need that uh, single shot pistol. Let's just throw it on quick use, just in case. You know? So that way, if we have to use a ranged weapon, we'll use that first. And we won't have, like, a situation. If I remember correctly, we still have a whole bunch of chain traps at the base, you know? At our old base. Oh, hey, it's that one savage that keeps on coming so close to here. All I gotta do is run away. Okay, to do list. If I remember correctly, there was some meat in the pot. We'll go ahead and see if we can give it to uh, the musician. Because he was talking about how he didn't have any... How he never got any meat. You know? He was talking about how he could never get any meat. Come on, let me through there. Thank you. Okay. And maybe... Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We're just going to have to talk to him and find out. That's everything there. There's that there. Okay, now let's go ahead and head back south to dog dude <laughs> I, I swear I t call him something different every time I'm nearby man we're really buddy buddying it up with him now I suppose we should also check at check on uh, who was it Piatrek see if he's gone yet oh hey I'm gonna leave that corpse alone yeah. am I corpse search all right if the corpse says search, you're safe to do so. Hey, gasoline! Just what I needed. Leave me alone, dog. I'm just trying to get into Piatrek's house. And steal all of his goodies. Ah. Adding minutes onto my commute. Even though I'm already a very busy man with a lot to do today. Very busy. Very, very busy. A lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. I'm just repeating the same thing. <laughs> okay. Hey, Piatruck, you home? No, you're not. Antidote. Cures poison and protects against poison. You know what? I think that's worth getting. There we are. Nice to have, at least. Alright, looks like Piatruck's gone. Possibly dead. I don't know. Woo. And, oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, this was not how it was supposed to go. Well, that sucks. I guess we'll have to go and talk to Dogman about this. Anything in the pot? Some meat. I can give that to Musician Boy, I guess. Alright. That. Is that an explosion? Because it doesn't look like an explosion. Could have been an explosion, but it looks like he was eaten by wolves or something. Do we know any wolves? I know I know a wolf. And I know that maybe I shouldn't be so... Maybe I shouldn't trust him so easily. Maybe maybe trusting him is not the best idea. Let's search through this crate. At least we can grab his stuff without feeling bad about it. Toolbox. Blueprint. That's very specific. I'm glad that I have this. Alright, I don't need the nail. Hey, some large mushrooms. No room, though. Alright, I guess we'll have to make a supply stop back at our house or something. Because I don't want to lose any of the stuff those guys give me. So I guess we'll be going back to... 
my house, then the musician, then the dog man. Because that is the order that goes best in that loop. Oh, it's 1300 already. Hmm. We may or may not be able to make that run. We're probably not going to be able to check out the wedding today. But we should be able to do it tomorrow. And it looks like the wedding is actually closer to the Silent Forest hideout than it is to the uh, Dry Meadow hideout. So maybe we won't go back there and we'll just spend, spend, have another a night in. Maybe? Who knows? We'll figure it out. I don't like to rush through things in this game, as you may have noticed. I'm more of a low and slow kind of guy. Low, slow, take in the atmosphere, enjoy the game. That's how I play it. Now, I have been criticized in the past for meandering around and being way too cautious. And there is definitely something correct about that. However, oh hey, stones, nails, no room in inventory. Alright, that's fine. And they definitely do have some merit to saying that I tend to me meander a little bit. But hey, I've only died once so far. That's pretty good. There's the doors. Alright, let's go ahead and throw... What do I have here? I have a toolbox. I have matchstick. Alcohol. Gasoline. Gasoline. Guess we'll just dump this into the thing next time we get a chance. Excuse me. How do you make a lantern, by the way? Oh, you need rags. Boy, oh boy, we have a real rag deficit, deficit right... Deficit. Deficit right now. Don't have money. Alright, let's throw this gasoline in there. Actually, we'll keep this one on us. Throw that one in there, that one in there, that one in there. Alright, we're all set up. Now let's go ahead and visit our friend, the musician. See what he's got going on. And see if giving him this meat does anything, or if it needs to be, like, specifically, like, the meat from the pig. Because if it is pig meat, we might have time to go there and kill a pig real quick. Maybe if we're real quick. And if they just yield odd meat, then we might... I don't know. Probably wouldn't be anything. If he has a response to this meat, then we'll assume that it's fine. But if he doesn't, he probably won't affect the uh, odd meat either. Alright. Where are you at? There you are. Hey, musician boy. Let's gossip. I saw I, I, I saw the village the villagers dragging a cart with dead sow. The one they called the mother of all pigs. It wasn't as beautiful as they said. Nowhere near the pretty lady. The boy drops his gaze. And that piggy it was a bit similar to me. The boy sniffles and rubs the match with his deformed hand. The villagers have been crying since after her lot. I saw them tr trying to cut through the wall of the trees. Don't think, do you think that's possible, mister? Mama told me that the woods are never, ever ending. And there's nothing on the other side. Can I show you the meat? No, I can't. Well, okay. At least we learned that the villagers are very upset about the whole sow dying thing. We learned that they're not chill with that. And you know what? If we do I go end up going back to the village... I'm not sure how our reception is going to be. But because of this, you know, because of this whole event, I think it'll be worth it just to go in there, look around, see if we can steal anything. <laughs> you know? Because it sounds pretty dire, but hey, maybe there's there's always stuff to loot. You know? Whenever anything goes down, there's always there's always stuff to loot. You you know? You know me. I'm part of the loot crew, and something goes down out there. When, when, during the Baltimore, <laughs> I was, I was part of Baltimore loot crew, or whatever they called it, whatever that hashtag was. What's up, Wolfman? Let's gossip. Me? Fucking hell, seen that? <laughs> seen that? <laughs> Off he flew, didn't he? Off he fucked! <laughs> Piatrek, the astronaut, is now on the moon. <laughs> the rocket worked like a charm, um, didn't it? Ah, oh, good that we've managed to make a couple of quick innovations at the last moment. <laughs> uh, helping others meet. Is there a better feeling? 
Oh, what an explosion and that was. Fucking boom! It's still ringing in my ears. Pity you weren't here to see the fireworks. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I see as uh, he has strong feelings on the matter. Bravo, meet no more squeals. <laughs> Suddenly, the wolf slaps me on the cheek. I can fucking hear the pitiful sobs of old wretches and the pleas of peasants begging for their beloved forest to bring back the sow's life. Poor fuckers, I have, the, I have no idea I will be the only one to hear their cries. <laughs> the wolf bursts into laughter. This is music to my ears, meat. Their lamentations make me calm. Finally, I will be able to sleep soundly. I bet they will attempt to break through the wall of trees. Oh, such a shame that I can't breathe in their desperation up close. Meat, just one more thing. Say hello from me when you're in the village. Send my greetings. The wolf checks his checks his pocket, his paw trembling with excitement. He takes out some item and throws it to the ground. Here. Yeah. Alright, looks like he gave me a hot bar upgrade. That's really good. I like that. Let's show him the invitation, see what he's got to say. Excellent meat. An invitation to a wedding party. The wolf snorts with laughter, his putrid saliva landing on my face. Ew. It's an invitation to that house in the southern edge of the dry meadow. The music there has been playing non-stop since I remember. Day and night. Never ending wedding. <laughs> the wolf throws the invitation back at me. It's wet with spit. Have fun, meat. Just remember to hide that disaster of a face or it's no dancing for you. That's not very nice. Alright, looks like he gave me a hot bar upgrade, was it? Alright, let's use this. There we are. Bam! That is five, five things in our hot bar. Noise. I'd say it's almost worth picking the, uh, picking what I think is the bad route for it. Alright. Anything to trade? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's exit. What do I want to throw in my hot bar? I should throw bandages on. I got a lot of weapons there, but not so many bandages. I've only got, like, one of them left, too. Alright, crates are locked. He probably doesn't want me messing with them. But okay, it looks like we may have picked the evil route here. You know what? Why don't... We got the time. We got the time. Why don't we go ahead and give a short visit? You know what? Actually, they're talking about how they're trying to get the sow through the woods. So why don't we go ahead and go for a short walk in the woods here, see if we can see it, you know? If it's out there. Oh, poor Pewtrek. You didn't deserve it, but I still did it, and I feel a small amount of guilt about that, despite the fact that you are a computer program, and I know that it's not the real world. I still feel kind of bad for taking advantage of a child. Well, not really a child, but, you know, how P P.O. was. Where's the pig shed? Where the heck am I? I don't even know. Hmm. Lots of tribals around here, I know that much. I think if I keep my distance, they'll leave me alone. Let's go ahead and see if the sow is still where we left it. I'm curious if it's actually moved. Because part of me doubts that it has. They're still sitting there drinking. So you know what? Whatever, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take a quick look around. See if the sow is still there. And then we'll try to kill one of the pigs. Is the sow still there? It's there. It's still there. Good luck getting it out, though. Good luck with that. I don't think it's going to come out easy. I don't think it's going to come out easy. I think you're going to need a lot of trouble with that. Okay, now... Let's just kill one of the pigs for the heck of it. Why not? Boom! Oh, it's not fighting back. Boom! Oh, it's just regular meat. Alright, so I guess we didn't really need to do that, but hey, we already did. You know, it's not like we're going to take that back. You know, it's too late to take that back. We killed the sow. What does a couple of pigs mean? Hmm. We'll have to remember to check the village before we go to the wedding tomorrow. We could check the village now. You know what? If we can get to our uh, house real quick, I think we will. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. That'd be a good idea. You can go in there, look around, grab some stuff. We've got even more inventory space now. And hey, maybe we can find some uh, supplies. 
or some money, or something else of value that I can use. Church ruins and old woods hideout. That's good to know. I must have gotten that from the map I got out of the garage. Of Piatrex garage. We'll throw some of our stuff in the workbench and then we'll get to work on going into the village. Alright. There we are. Let's throw the meat. Keep the lantern in there just in case. We can throw the antidote in there. And we still don't have any, like... Hmm. We still don't have much in the way of anything. Huh. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump into that hole before we run out of time. Zoom! Down we go. To the village. Let's see how this place is doing now. Oh, hey. 